Before the prequels, a long-held mystery lurking in the Alien franchise was the question of who were the mysterious space jockey aliens, and why did they carry the dangerous cargo of hundreds, if not thousands, of alien eggs. Questions that would go on to be the focus of the prequel films. Yet if it weren't for time and budget constraints, these space jockeys would have held a much different place in the lore of this universe. If Dan O'Bannon's original alien script hadn't been changed, the jockey would have been just another unfortunate visitor to the moon just like the crew of the Nostromo, and not a creator of, or in the very least, a transporter of, the Xenomorph eggs. In the final product, the Ovomorph Room, which went through many draft revisions, was part of the jockey spacecraft. What O'Bannon had originally envisioned was two different environments, the jockey's derelict ship and a separate structure where the eggs would be found, a pyramid. Of course, this was eventually cut from the film, yet the idea would resurface again for AVP. Even the engineer temple from Prometheus owes its creation to the alien pyramid concepts and evolution. It's a common theme for unused alien concepts to show up in other films, but if we look to the extended universe, like the comics of Aliens Advent and Aliens Terminus, we can find a world where Dan's alien pyramid would actually exist. Advent and Terminus, usually referred to as Aliens Advent Terminus, is actually a two-part story. Here we would be introduced to a small team put together by an eccentric rich guy with the intent on looting a planet that contains several pyramids said to contain precious gems, metals, unfamiliar alloys, inscribed tablets, and other artifacts from a long extinct race. And not to mention, they've also reported findings of alien eggs. On the surface, the team would encounter the pyramid, which was smooth on all sides with an obvious entrance at the base of it. Now Chris Foss's rendition of O'Bannon's pyramid was smooth outside in some images, but it also had decorative designs on it as well near the top. A top which wasn't closed like the one in Advent and Terminus, because the entrance here would be a hole at the top where the point was missing or somehow removed. Once the team would enter, they would immediately encounter what would appear to be hieroglyphics, and the team synthetic would begin translating the symbols, much like David did in Prometheus. The section she would translate reads as follows, Sacred is the sleep of the ages, and safe within the second womb. Death follows upon birth. Now Dan's older draft specifically mentions that the crew would find strange alien hieroglyphics in the pyramid, just like here in Advent. After entering the structure's main chamber, in the center of the room would be an enormous sarcophagus looking container that is likely designed in homage to Ron Cobb's concepts of the Pyramid Ceremonial Hall. The one in Advent is surrounded by ovomorph alien eggs with Xenos hiding, likely in stasis behind it, where in Cobb's treatment the eggs are stone and part of the sarcophagus, and the aliens are depicted in art on the walls all around the room. If you don't see it, you gotta remember that when this art was done, Giger hadn't done his alien adult design, and the alien looked more like this. Unfortunately, the comparisons of the two pyramids ends here, because in proper aliens fashion, the team is wiped out by the Xenos before any more explorations could be done. At the comic's end, another hapless, uninformed team would land, likely repeating the cycle of humans dying at the hands of the aliens. The purpose of the pyramid in Advent and Terminus is never fully explained, but it appears that some long forgotten alien race that may have worshipped the Xenos were the ones who built the structure. I could see a similar scenario happening with Dan's unused alien pyramid. Even if budget and time constraints wouldn't have called for the joining of the derelict in the alien egg room, the pyramid still would have been cut from the film. H.R. Giger never liked the idea of the pyramid, seeing it as too human and wanted to create a more alien structure. This would lead to his unused egg silo, which would also show up in the Aliens Extended Universe and at one point the idiots at Brandywine even wanted the silo to be a man-made cylindrical building. Thank God that never happened. I also think it's really interesting that in the first drafts from Prometheus by John Spates at the climax of the film, there were pyramids all over the surface of the planet that would fire off enormous beams of light into the stars, most likely sending a warning out to the engineers in space of what went down on LV-223. And that's all I've got on the pyramids of the Alien films and extended universe. What's your favorite rendition of the building in question? The pyramid? The silo? The lame man-made tube? Or the engineer temples? Thanks for watching guys, and I hope to see you next time.